For everyone new to the channel, I pretty much started from the ground up from just making smartphone case videos, so it's pretty crazy how far I've come, but I thought, you know what, let's just jump back to the roots a little bit and take a look at some of my top smartphone cases for the iPhone 13. So first of all, we are taking a look at the more luxurious, elegant style cases, which are some leather cases. A lot of people like leather cases. You're going to get that sort of patina look. You're going to get the leather wear. And yeah, some people just like leather because it's kind of like premium. It's a premium material. So these ones here are made by a company called Mujo. I featured some cases made by them in the past, including the iPhone 12 last year. So they do make cases for the 12 series and the 13. So, you know, if you still have an older iPhone, you can always pick up a case from them. But honestly, they're really nice material. So they come in a few different colors. You can pick them up in tan, black, as well as blue. So this is the black one right here. I don't actually have the blue one. The blue one does look nice. It kind of reminds me of the iPhone 12 blue. So it's that kind of dark blue, more of like a navy. But um, yeah, this one here is tan. It's stained using vegetable oil. And honestly, I really like this. It's similar to the color of the official Apple one. And honestly, in the hand, it does feel very similar to the official Apple leather case. The leather wraps all the way around, covers the complete bottom of the phone. You've got your cutouts for your speakers, covers your buttons as well, but they don't feel mushy. They still have like a clicky tactile feel to them, which I really like. And then you have a lip around your camera module, so it's gonna protect your lenses. And you also have a lip on the front. So if you like to place your phone face down, then chief, you're covered. I personally really like the inside. So this is where your, your glass of your phone is gonna be touching. So you don't want it to scratch the back of your device. And inside here, it's this soft touch microfiber material. Really is soft. It's got this kind of suede kind of look. And there's some branding in here. You also do have some branding on the back of the case at the bottom, but it's pretty simple. It doesn't really stand out too much, which I like. It doesn't really need to be flashy because you know it's just a leather case. So I think Mujo pulled off this case really well. I like the design. I like the color options, the price, it's 40 pounds. So for this basic version here without the card slot in the back, and this one with the card slot is 45 pounds. So they made them for the iPhone 12 and the 13 series. Something to keep in mind, I actually have the Apple wallet and it's not gonna work well with this case right here. So you may be thinking, oh, it's nice and flat. It'll work great with your MagSafe accessories, but there is no MagSafe support. So the magnet's just gonna kind of suck. So uh, if you use MagSafe, maybe don't pick up these cases. Okay, now we're taking a look at the Solid Suit series. I have one right here on my phone, but they make a ton of different colors, designs. They collaborate with different companies. So they've got one here with Snoopy on. They've also got this one from the Keith Haring Foundation. So yeah, they partner with a lot of people. You can check out their website and have a look at their whole collection, but realistically, it's huge. This price is in at $40 or 40 pounds, which is quite high, I guess, for just you know a standard looking case. It doesn't really look that premium or elegant but I personally really like Rhino Shield for their drop protection. Inside you have this really nice honeycomb material. The actual material of the smartphone case as well is super durable, so if you drop this, the case isn't actually gonna mark or scuff as easy as some other cases out there. I personally had some trouble with the Apple silicone cases, where like the silicone's kind of coming off the frame a bit. But yeah, with this, you're definitely not gonna have that. It's a more durable material. And in terms of this print on the back, it's actually kind of 3D a little bit, so you can actually feel all the features of Snoopy. Rhino Shield really do have a nice design. I like this sort of protrusion around the camera. And overall, you've got like a lip on the front here. The cutouts are very precise. You've got tactile buttons. And um, yeah, if you wanna check out some of the Solid Suit series, there is an absolute ton to choose from, like I said. Okay, now we're taking a look at this case here. It's also made by Rhino Shield, but it's a different series. It's called the Mod NX. So do you guys remember everyone used to like rock bumper cases back with like the iPhone 5, the 5S, even the 4S, you know, people used to rock a bumper case. This is kind of like that. So this is a modular case. It comes in two components. So you pick up a bumper, a bumper material, bumper color, and then you actually choose your back plate, but you don't have to have a back plate. You can simply rock it as a bumper, just how it comes. But personally, I really like the customization options. I actually have this one on right now, which is kind of this off white color. And it reminds me of like the old Macintosh. You remember those like old computers years ago, like the big box ones? Well, yeah, it has that kind of off white color they used for those old computers, that kind of beige color. And you know, it's kind of cool. It has like a retro vibe. I've just paired it with this cactus backplate. I don't really know how, how it flows. I was looking for something more retro, but I, I couldn't really find anything. So that's pretty much what I went with. But yeah, there's an absolute huge collection. They price in at $30 or 30 pounds. 
and you can pick up the actual bumpers in different colors. So I have a black one here. I have this red one here as well. And you know, they do have some flex to them, but when they're on the phone, when you put the back plate in, they're definitely more rigid, but they're made of the same material as the solid suit, the actual bumper piece. It's not that flimsy rubber. It does feel quite substantial. And you've got the honeycomb pattern inside there as well. There's also this one here, which is kind of this violet gray color. So um, I've paired it with this kind of colored PewDiePie back, I believe. So it's like a purple colored backplate, but there's really tons to choose from. I have some different ones right here. So as you can see, there's a lot of options. The website have literally endless options for backplates. Now these are in fact just made of plastic, but that's actually kind of a good thing. They're not like a cheap plastic. They're very thick, very substantial, and they don't feel cheap. They actually feel almost like glass, but basically it just means it's gonna handle better when you drop your phone. So you don't want it to like crack and then ruin your smartphone case. So they've made them out of plastic. And these actually pop out pretty easy. So all you really do is kind of bend the bumper and then you kind of pop the back piece out just like that and then you can just swap them out. So say I wanna add this one here with the waves to this smartphone case, I simply just go ahead and pop it in. Da, da, da. And there we go. Pretty sure that's in correctly. And then we just go ahead and pop it on our smartphone. So um, yeah, I really do like this. It's just super customizable, but it doesn't end there. There's actually more customization you can do. So these buttons on all the Rhino Shield cases are actually removable. So you can simply go ahead and actually pop them out of the smartphone frame, just like that. And then you can go ahead and swap the colors out. So you can have an accented power button or an accented volume key, whatever you like. And there's a whole bunch of different colors you can choose from. I've actually got this little pack here, which is just full of a bunch of variety of colors. So really you can sort of mix and match. You can maybe get some like colors to match your back plate, which stand out from the bumper. You can do whatever you like. You can throw in any color you want. Honestly, these are just the most fun cases. Just the fact that you can actually build your own like modular case with different colors and pieces. It's super cool. I really like these, they're really fun. And they're actually cheaper than the solid suit. So honestly, I kind of prefer these. Like I said, you can just rock it as a bumper. It does come with this other piece, which goes in the back to fill up the back plate piece. That just makes it fit better in your phone if you're not gonna put that back plate in. God, I'm saying back plate a lot, but it's, it's hard to talk about without mentioning it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. They're just some really fun cases to play around with. I really love these. They're just like so cool. I just feel like a child again. It's like when you're building something out of Lego, but, but you're just building your own smartphone case. It's kind of like that, just swapping out the buttons. I don't really know, but they're fun cases. If you don't want fun cases, if you're more of the elegant leather type person, I also showed off those Mojo ones. So all the links will be down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later and remember to subscribe. Peace.